If you are not catching up with AI today, you are losing it. And trust me, I don't say that lightly. AI is here and it is now, and it is fundamentally reshaping how we work. If you're getting into the tech space and still not through AI foundations, don't wait anymore because it might cost you money, your progression, or your entire career. Today, I'm pulling back the curtain on a learning path that can become a bridge to bring you to AI literacy. AI skills are rapidly becoming essential and where you should start is this AWS AI practitioner learning track and guess what, I just completed that recently. Hello folks, Dipanshu here, your guide to navigating the exciting landscapes of cloud, AI and data. For a while now, many of you have been asking about Foundation's AI skills and how to integrate them with your cloud journey. Well, the AWS AI Practitioner Certification is exactly that bridge. In this full guide, I will share my personal journey why this certification is a very good option today, the exact resources I used personally and my top tips to help you ace it. By the end of this video, you will have a clear, actionable roadmap to becoming an AWS AI practitioner. So let us dive in. First up, let's talk about why AI isn't just good to know anymore, but a non-negotiable skill for now and beyond. From automating mundane tasks to powering groundbreaking scientific discoveries, AI is reshaping how businesses operate and how we interact with technology. It's no longer just for data scientists or ML engineers. Every role from product management to sales, even IT support benefits from understanding AI capabilities and its implications. AI literacy is a must. This is precisely why AWS introduced AI Practitioner Certification. Look, it is not about becoming an AI guru overnight but about building a foundational understanding of AI and machine learning concepts, especially how they leverage AWS services. AWS has recognized that foundational AI skills are so critical that they have essentially mandated this level of understanding across many roles. This certification is designed for individuals who use AI ML solutions on AWS, not necessarily those who build them. It validates your ability to understand AI ML, generative AI technologies, and associated AWS services and tools independent of a specific job role. So it's truly a universal skill in today's tech space. So what exactly is this certification and what does it cover? The AWS Certified AI Practitioner or AIFC01 is a foundational level certification. It is designed to give you a broad high level understanding of AI, ML and specially generative AI concepts with an AWS ecosystem. Here is its structure and key domains. Domain 1 is fundamentals of AI and ML that has 20% coverage from the exam perspective. This covers the basics. What are AI, ML and deep learning? different types of machine learnings like supervised, unsupervised and reinforcement, common use cases like fraud detection, recommendation system and natural language processing. You will also touch on the machine learning life cycle here. Domain 2 Fundamentals of Generative AI which has 24% coverage. A significant portion focuses on generative AI. Think large language models, transformers, prompt engineering and diffusion models. This is where you will learn about services like Amazon Bedrock and Amazon Q. Domain 3 is about applications of foundation models, which has 28% coverage. This is the most weighted domain. It's about how to apply these powerful foundation models. So you will learn a little bit about prompt engineering techniques like zero shot and few shot, fine tuning concepts and retrieval augmented generation, which is often called as RAG. And then comes domain 4, which gives you guidelines for responsible AI. 
This domain emphasizes the ethical considerations like fairness, bias mitigation, transparency. It's crucial in today's world. Domain 5 is security and compliance and governance for AI solutions. So how do you secure AI systems on AWS? Think of IAM, encryption, data governance and understanding compliance standards. Please note that you won't be building complex models, but you will understand when to use services like Amazon SageMaker, Amazon Recognition for Computer Vision, Amazon Comprehend for Natural Language Processing, or Amazon Lex for chatbots, or Amazon Poly and Transcribe for speech. So the emphasis is on understanding the value these services bring and how they solve business problems. All right, let's get into the nitty gritty. How did I prepare and what resources did I find most effective? My approach was very structured, focusing on official AWS material. AWS Skill Builder was my primary hub. See, AWS offers a fantastic official exam prep guide for this particular learning path. It's comprehensive and covers all the domains. I went through this course diligently, making notes and revisiting sections I found challenging. They also have shorter courses on specific topics like essentials of prompt engineering or developing generative AI solutions, which were excellent for deep dives wherever I wanted. Second was AWS documentation. So don't underestimate the power of official AWS documentation. For services like Amazon Bedrock, SageMaker, and the various pre-trained AI services like Recognition, Comprehend, etc. I read their overview pages and common use cases. This helped solidify my understanding of their practical applications. So you don't need to read every single line, but understand the what why and when for each service. Number three was official practice questions. AWS Skill Builder also provides official practice questions and these are invaluable for understanding the style and difficulty of actual exam. They help you identify your weak areas so you can focus your study on those. My biggest tip for studying, focus on the use cases. So don't just memorize definitions, but ask yourself, when would a company use Amazon recognition instead of building their own custom vision model? The exam tests your practical understanding. Now, let's talk about the exam itself. Knowing what to expect significantly reduces test anxiety. The exam consists of about 65 questions. Primarily multiple choice and multiple response questions. You will choose one correct answer from four options or multiple correct answers from a larger set. You would have 90 minutes to complete the exam. And the minimum passing score is 700 out of 1000. And here are my top tips for exam day and your overall preparation. Number one, understand generative AI. This is a key focus. Make sure you are comfortable with concepts like foundation models, prompt engineering, fine tuning and RAG, as well as services like Amazon Bedrock and Amazon Q. Responsible AI is not optional, so don't skim over the responsible AI domain. Questions on bias, fairness, transparency, and ethical considerations are important and often nuanced. Scenario-based questions. Many questions are scenario-based, so read the question carefully to understand the business problem. Then identify the most appropriate AWS service or concept to solve it, and eliminate distractors. See, 65 questions in 120 minutes means roughly 1.8 minute per question. If you're stuck, flag it and move on. You can always come back. Use those official practice questions. The more comfortable you are with the question style, the better. And yes, of course, rest and hydrate. Seriously, a fresh mind makes a huge difference, right? Don't cram the night before. And with that, I wish you all the best in your preparation for this exam and your journey towards learning artificial intelligence. Remember, this certification isn't a badge, it's a launchpad. In a world where 92% of employers plan to integrate AI solutions into their business processes by 2028, having this fundamental understanding gives you a massive advantage.
And once you have completed this particular learning track, it would actually set you in a very comfortable position where you can even consider advanced certifications such as AWS Certified Machine Learning Associate and AWS Certified Machine Learning Specialty. So it can open doors to many other roles like AI ML Analyst, helping organizations understand and leverage AI, Product or Project Managers, leading AI-driven initiatives, Solution Architects, designing AI-powered solutions, and even for existing roles like Cloud Engineers or Developers. This certification elevates your profile by demonstrating your ability to integrate AI into existing cloud infrastructures. It shows employers that you are not just keeping up with technology, you are actively embracing the future. And this gives you confidence to talk about AI, identify opportunities and contribute to AI-driven projects, irrespective of your core role. It's about being AI literate in the cloud era. So there you have it, your comprehensive guide to AWS AI Practitioner Certification. I truly believe this certification is a must-have for anyone looking to build or advance their career in cloud and AI in today's time. It empowers you with the knowledge to thrive in an AI-first world. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It helps the channel immensely. And if you haven't already done it, please subscribe to the channel for more insightful content. With that, I wish you all the best. Thanks for watching and remember, keep learning, keep building and keep innovating. See you in the next video.